Hey guys, Chuck here with another KSP video. And once again, I'll be taking a look at the KOS, Scriptable Autopilot System. Uh, if you're not familiar with KOS, it's this uh, really cool mod that lets you write your own autopilot uh, scripts for KSP. Uh, and it's still fairly new. Uh, this is version 0 0.65. Uh, but you can still do a lot of cool things even with this early version. And the only other mod I'm running is Flight Engineer. Uh, so what I have today is a cruise missile and mobile launching platform that I built myself and a script to go along with it. Right now I'm controlling this uh, just by myself. Um, I'm just going to get this thing onto the grass here. And So what it's going to do is when I run the script it's going to lock onto a target that I have already set up off into the distance beyond the hills um, and the cruise missile is going to follow the terrain pretty closely at about 500 meters above the ground um, and then when it gets close to the target it's going to cut its engines and hopefully crash into it. Um, I've tried this about a dozen times and I'd say about a quarter of the time I was able to hit the target dead on but all the other times I was within about 20 or 30 meters of the target. So I think that's still pretty good for a target that's uh, 50 kilometers away. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to run the script. So as soon as I run it, um, everything is going to be uh, completely automatic. I won't be in issuing any commands uh, to KSP at all, other than just moving the camera around. Okay, so I set the target already in my script, um, but you can set it based on your lat long uh, coordinates of your target. And you can follow along with the script if you want. I'll have a link to it in the description. So here we go, it's found this target. Now it's getting into launch position. Spooling up the jet engine. And there we go. So now what the um, missile is going to do is it's going to adjust its pitch based on its height above the terrain. Um, if its height is below 500 meters, it's going to pitch up. And if it's above um, 500 meters, it's going to pitch down. And it's going to do that based on its radar altitude height, except when it's flying over water. And here it switches to looking at its altitude above sea level and it looks at if its radar altitude height is greater than its height above sea level then it knows to switch to looking at the altitude above sea level otherwise it would just crash right into the water so here you see it's holding fairly steady at 470 meters I have the optimal height set to 500 meters but it adjusts its pitch based on its height so what it does is it steadies on a height that keeps its angle of attack um, such that its height is steady so that puts it slightly below the optimal height but only about 30 meters so that's good enough for me so here we see it's approaching a hill now and keep an eye on the altitude above the terrain once this is less than the altitude above sea level that's what the missile is going to be looking at and it's going to adjust its pitch based on that so there we go it's pitched up to avoid that hill and now it's going to pitch down to contour with the ground and depending on how low or how high um, the missile is it adjusts its pitch more uh, up or more down uh, the major limitation with this approach is that the missile has no idea what's in front of it. It knows the target's in front of it, but it has no idea if a hill is coming up or not. Um, so you want to pick a height above terrain that's going to compensate for uh, in most hills. But if there's a sheer cliff face that's higher than your set height, your missile's just going to smack right into it. So you want to pick a height that's 
good enough for the terrain that you're flying over. Uh, if you're flying over fairly smooth terrain, you can pick a lower height. But I pur purposely uh, picked a target um, that's that takes the missile over some pretty rough hills, just so you can get an idea of how well the uh, script contours over the terrain. So the target is now about 20 uh, kilometers away, and we've got an ETA of about a minute and a half now, uh, which fluctuates based on the distance to target and its horizontal speed, which changes based on the pitch of the missile. So at about five kilometers from the target, we're going to pitch up and get about a thousand meters above the target, and then cut our engines completely and dive bomb into the target. And I found that this is probably the best approach that I could come up with so far to getting close to the target. It works fairly well, especially if the target is nestled among some uh, steep hills then coming up from uh, above the target um, gives you a greater chance of hitting it. Alright, so... So this uh, cruise missile has a range of about 250 kilometers, which would make it a subsonic short to medium range missile in the real world. I tried using uh, rocket engines, but of course you know they're not super efficient, so their max range is only about 16 to 20 kilometers based on how I build the missile, and I want to keep it fairly compact. Alright, so now we're approaching our target. We're only about 3 kilometers away, and we're pitching up, so the target should come into view any second now. And there it is. It's rendered out now. Looks like we might be slightly off. Yeah, I don't think we're going to hit the target dead on. Oh, but we came close. We came to within 50 meters. So I think that's pretty good for a target that was 50 kilometers away. Um, like I said, I've tried making this video about a dozen times. Um, I was never able to actually get an impact with a target on video, but I swear I have hit it before. Um, but I think that's good enough. So anyway, uh, if you want to take a look at the script, it's in the description. And thanks for watching.